Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And since I made a video a while back discussing the research comparing powerlifting to bodybuilding training and hypertrophy, people have asked me, hey Jason, could you give us a program that helps us build most if not all the muscle we're gonna gain in 30 minutes, three times a week? And rather than do that, I'll give you guys an example of a program that someone else has already written. It's very popular, a very, very well-known and successful individual who I actually do enjoy the work of. And he has the type of program that if a person came to me and said, Jason, I'm not necessarily trying to gain maximum muscle because that would require hours, but I want to gain just 90% of the muscle mass that I could gain, keep a decently balanced physique, and I'm very time constrained. I've got a family and a, and a job with a lot of hours, or I work and I go to school. Can I build a lot of muscle in an hour and a half a week in the gym? And I would direct them towards something like Martin Birkins, who is the inventor of Lean Gains, who repopularized intermittent fasting. His reverse pyramid training, and this is what he has a lot of his clients do. He put this program out, basically, and I'll link it down below. And something like that is what I would recommend to them. It's basically, you have three days. You come in, and on each exercise that you do, he only has you work with five basic exercises you do around three sets. The first set is very, very heavy. You cut the weight 10%. You do another set after two minutes. You pretty well take those to failure or close to. You cut the weight another 10% and then do a third set after about two minutes. So you're looking at maybe five minutes for the full work sets, not counting any warm-ups. Now people talk about warm-ups and the thing is, you guys overdo your warm-ups. I can tell you right now that for me to build up to doing a 220 kilo squat, it takes me five minutes to warm up to that. And I don't use knee wraps, and that's in the cold. If I do that in a cold ass room, I take five minutes and I don't have any knee pains from it. People spend excessive amounts of time warming up. If I, if I wanna build up to do a triple with 220 kilos, I don't even start with the bar. I do a set of dynamic stretches. I do a triple with 60 kilos. I do a triple with 100 kilos. I do a triple with 140. I do a single with 180 all less than a minute apart maybe, and then I jump under and do the 220 for a triple. That's all it takes. So people are spending excessive amounts of time warming up for no real reason. There's no need for people to do the amount of warming up that they do. Do some dynamic stretching or whatever and get yourself warmed up and jump in and just ramp up. Unless you're going to attempt a one rep max or a training max at least for a single, the amount of warming up that people do is excessive. It's not reducing your injuries. So his program, it's something like on Monday, he'll have you deadlift and weighted chin-ups. And obviously you'd have to just do normal chin-ups if you're not strong enough to do weighted chin-ups, but this is also not for beginners. This is some, for someone who's probably run some sort of novice program for at least six months. If you run my novice program, you run starting strength, strong lift, something like that, you've got enough strength base to run his program. And so you would do three sets of deadlifts. He would have you build up to like a three to five rep max after a couple warm-up sets, do that, drop it 10%, repeat 10%, repeat again, then you go to weighted chin-ups. So that's all your back and bicep work and hamstrings are covered right there from those two exercises. That is a full back bicep and decent posterior chain workout. The next session he has you come in and do bench press, the same process, and then he has people do push-ups. He's also said you could do incline bench if you wanted. And I would suggest it for people if from that first workout, if you're not getting enough bicep stimulation from that one set of chin-ups, I would do bench press and chin-ups again. But again, it's two basic exercises. You're doing three heavy sets with two minutes apart. And then the third exercise he has you do on the final day, like on Friday, is you do squats, three sets of squats, and then overhead press. So three sets of overhead press. Those workouts should take you 20 to 30 minutes, including warm-ups. You're in the gym an hour to an hour and a half. Martin looks fantastic. He's lean, ripped, got a decent amount of muscle mass. He's decently strong. He's got a good balance of strength and size. And a lot of people say, well, he's not that big. And I'll look at you and say, if you think you're going to get bigger than Martin Burkham without steroids, then you're living in a dream world. So if you don't think he's big enough for you, then my friend, I suggest that you go start researching testosterone because you're going to need it. You will not get bigger than him without drugs. Maybe, maybe half a percent of the people out there have the genetics to get bigger than him without drugs. Maybe 1%. But they are the genetic elite. 
And if you're the genetic elite, you don't need training advice. You could do a bunch of push-ups and look like a fucking bodybuilder. So you don't need my advice. And if you're not that genetic elite, you're not going to get bigger than Martin. That is a fantastic amount of muscle mass and symmetry and aesthetics for someone to obtain without drugs. And that's the way he trains. That's the, the training method he recommends. So if you're time constrained, you want to gain muscle mass and have a decently balanced physique, Martin's reverse pyramid training is probably a very, very good choice. And yeah, I would endorse it for someone with those goals. Now, someone with more time, I would have them do a hell of a lot more. But if you got that limited time in the gym, it would be tough to beat his program for putting on muscle mass. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Mount Bicephius.